When someone has a lot of fluid or swelling somewhere in their body, such as with lymphedema in the arms or the upper body or venous insufficiency with swelling in the legs, they often think about not drinking so much water because they're retaining too much fluid or they feel like their swelling is going to get worse. Now this is incorrect and I'm going to explain in this video why. My name is Kelly. I am a physical therapist and a certified lymphedema therapist and I also specialize in oncology or cancer. Today in this video I'm going to share about the importance of staying hydrated for your lymphatic system and how this can help improve lymphatic flow and decrease swelling or lymphedema. For other videos related to lymphatic health, be sure to subscribe down below for weekly new videos. You can also follow along with us on Instagram for more related content, and you can also check out my website. When someone thinks of lymphedema or swelling, they often think that they're retaining or holding too much fluid. So they think that they need to drink less fluid in order to help get rid of it or avoid from making it worse. Now this is completely untrue. Your lymphatic system really needs hydration and liquid and fluid to help move fluid along. So we're gonna explain a little bit how this works. Your lymphatic system is a one-way system and the fluid comes from your blood. And so your arteries bring blood from your heart down throughout your body and that fluid comes back to the heart from your veins. Some of this blood or some of the fluid comes out and has proteins in it and it's called lymph fluid. And your lymphatic system and your lymphatic vessels bring this fluid back up to lymph nodes where it's filtered out for any infection or illness and then it goes back to your heart. And so what happens is when you get sick or you go to the doctor and they feel for your lymphatic nodes here, they're looking to see if they're swollen because swelling of your lymph nodes means that, or it could mean that you are sick, that you have an illness, that it's fighting off an infection of some sort. But mild swelling of lymphatic nodes can also mean that you're dehydrated. And so that's something that also can come up. The doctor can see, you know, if you are staying hydrated enough or not. So if you are dehydrated and your lymph nodes are swollen throughout your body, this can cause more issues. So if you are swollen, the lymph nodes can't work as quickly or as properly, and this can cause a backup, which puts someone more at risk for inflammation or infection or congestion of some sort. And if someone also has that congestion, that can lead to more swelling or more lymphedema throughout your body. So due to this, staying hydrated is essential for your lymphatic system to keep it healthy, to keep lymphatic fluid moving, and for swelling and lymphedema. So how much fluid should someone take in each day to stay hydrated? I know this area is a big controversy and you're gonna read different things all over the internet. So what is true? Well, let's go directly to the experts. The US National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine determine that an adequate daily fluid intake is 15.5 cups or 3.7 liters of fluid for men and 11.5 cups or 2.7 liters of fluid a day for women. Now this is gonna vary for someone's size and age and their activity level as well, but those are the average amount that someone should take in for fluid. Now, let's think about this for a minute. That sounds like a lot for some people, but key word here is that it's fluid. This did not say specifically water, and that can, I think, become confusing for a lot of people and why people hear different numbers all the time. You can get fluid from a lot of different sources. You get fluid from fruits and vegetables and other things that you have daily. And so you don't have to drink that much water by itself. You're getting fluid intake in other ways. For example, watermelon is about 97% water. And so if you have a cup of watermelon in a day, that does you know, attribute to what number you're trying to get in or what you're intaking. And so think about that. We do ideally want most of that intake being water, plain water. We want to try to avoid a lot of sugars and alcohols because there is some talk that these sugars can actually make dehydration even worse. And the other piece of that is a lot of added sugars or alcohols to someone's diet can increase someone's weight and that does not help the lymphatic system at all. And so try to have 70% of your 
you know, liquid intake being water and then the rest being other sources, but do consider what you have to eat and how much food you're getting in as well because that all does count to your total amount. So if you realize you're not getting enough fluid intake or you're not drinking enough water, you can increase that to try to build up to about that amount. Do consider if you are a taller person or a larger person, you might need a little bit more. Maybe you're really active or you live in a warmer environment that you, you know, perspirate or you uh, sweat a little bit more, you might need more fluid versus someone who is shorter or smaller or is more sedentary. But if you want to try to increase your fluid intake, you don't want to do that all at once. That can throw off the system and confuse your bladder and your kidneys. So what we want you to do is try to increase that amount of fluid by eight ounces a week at most. And so if you feel like you need about three more cups of water to take in to get an adequate amount, you want to start with one cup that week and then the next cup or next week you can add another cup and so on until you get to an adequate amount. If you drink a lot more than that, your body's just gonna get rid of it anyway and you're gonna flush that out sooner. And so that is fine, um, usually unless there's other health conditions, but you can talk to your doctor more about what would be best for you. So I hope that helps explain why it's really important to stay hydrated for your lymphatic system and for lymphedema or swelling. So be sure to grab some water, gradually build up, and make sure that you're getting an adequate amount to keep your lymphatic system healthy and flowing. If you're looking for other videos on lymphatic health, be sure to subscribe down below. And other than that, we will see you all in the next video. Thanks everyone.